Hello everyone, welcome back to How I Solved video series of Clinical SAS Programming. In this video, we will see a scenario wherein we had to get the latest transmission date on or before each lab collection date. So let us try to see the specification for it. In this video series, we are not actually deriving any standard variables uh, as part of HTTM or Adam, but we are seeing scenario based questions. So the specification talks about the scenario. So we have lab samples collected at specific dates and patients also undergo transfusions on need basis. So for analysis purposes, we needed the latest transmission date on or before each lab sample collection date. So we have transmission dates available. We have lab date, lab samples collection dates available. All we need is to identify the latest transmission date on or before each lab sample collection date. We'll see how that can be derived. So here on the right hand side, I have my input data and also the intermediate and final output data sets. On the left hand side, I have my SAS program that is used to generate the output. So we'll take a look at the input data sets first. So we have ADLB, so as input in which we have subject ID, param CD, ADT, eval and sequence variable available. So here we have the lab sample collection dates available and in a second data set called AD trans, we have the transmission dates available, U sub ID and the date of transmission. So there are three transmissions for subject 1001 and one transmission for subject 1003. So let's go back to ADLB and see here, we have three records for uh, subject 1001, one record for 1002 and one record for 1003. There was no record for 1002 in transmission. So let us try to manually identify the transmission date for one of the for one or two of the uh, lab sample collection date. For subject 1001, there is a lab sample collected on 1st Feb 2010. So we'll have to look at the transmissions data and see what are the transmissions available on or before 1st Feb 2010 and pick the latest of it. So 1st Feb 2010 for subject 1001. So we have 1001, we have 15th Jan, there is a transmission, 2nd Feb, there is a transmission and 15th Feb. So there is only one transmission that is occurring before 1st Feb sample collection. So the transmission date on or before 1st Feb 2010 is 15th Jan. So on this record, we need to get the transmission date as the latest transmission date as the 15th Jan. So now let us see, take a look at the second record. So here 1001. 2nd Feb 2010. Now let's come back to transmission data and then take a look at this. So here we have one transmission on 15th Jan and second transmission on 2nd Feb. So what we are looking for is on or before. So there is a same transmission occurring on the same date as 2nd Feb. So out of these two, 15th Jan and 2nd Feb, the closest one to the 2nd Feb sample collection is the 2nd Feb. So we'll have to report the last or the latest transmission date on or before the 2nd Feb. As we have a transmission on 2nd Feb itself, we'll have to populate it as 2nd Feb. And then let us take a look at the third example as well. So we have a lab sample collected on 10th Feb. So let us come back to the transmission again and then see if we, what is the next transmission available. So one on 15th Jan, 2nd Feb, and the next one is on 15th Feb. So this is after the lab sample collection date. So there are two, 15th and 2nd Feb, 15th Jan and 2nd Feb. The latest of these two before 10th Feb is 2nd Feb. So on this record also, we'll have the latest transmission date as the 2nd Feb date. So this is how the requirement goes. Now we'll see how to programmatically handle it. So it actually what is happening in this scenario is we'll have to compare the date ADT on ADLB of each subject with all the transmission dates available in your AD trans. So we'll have to kind of use proc scale Cartesian product and then filter at subject and we'll have to identify the transmission dates which are on or before each ADT. So we'll see how that is coded. So we are using our ADLB data set as input and we are using proc scale to do that Cartesian product or many to many join. So here we are creating a new table called ADLB02 by using ADLB and we are identifying that ADLB data set with the alias as A. And then we are joining 
AD trans to ADLB in left join manner, which means we are keeping all the records coming from ADLB and then we are identifying the AD trans data set with an alias of B. So we are fetching the trans state from AD trans data set and then we are fetching all the variables from our ADLB data set. On the joining condition, what we are saying is join all the records based on the values present in u sub jd variable on both adlb and ad trans data set by default sql does a cartesian product and then filters of all the records so we are trying to keep the matching records between two subjects and in the join condition we are also specifying that keep only those records where the transmission date is less than or is equal to adt so by default it would create a combination of for each subject so here if we see in adlb there are three records in uh, ADLB and in transfusion also we have three records. So it would in total create a combination of nine records, three multiplied by three. On that, after that we are filtering for only those records. So where the transfusion date is less than or is equal to ADT. So let us take a look at our ADLB 02 to quickly get an understanding and how this gets processed. So I have my ADLB. So if we take a look at ADLB, we only had five. So if you examine ADLB 02, we have seven records. So the total number of records is increasing. We'll try to see why they are increasing. So here if we see on 1st Feb, so there was only one record where the transmission date is less than ADT for that subject. So 15th Jan record. So it technically created records for 10th, 1st Feb for 15th Jan, 2nd Feb and 15th Feb. So it in the back end, it creates those three records first. As we have mentioned, the filter condition of missing less than trans DT less than or is equal to ADT. So it has for the first record. So it filtered only those records where the transmission date is less than or is equal to ADT. And then for the second record, it would combine it with all three records of these first. And then as we have specified this trans DT less than or is equal to ADT condition, it filters only those records where trans DT is less than or is equal to the, in this case, it is second Feb. So we have seen that there were 15th Jan, second Feb and 15th Feb. Out of these conditions, out of those three records, only two records meet the condition. So where trans DT is less than or is equal to ADT, which is 15th Jan and 2nd Feb. So that's why we do not have the record of 15th Feb here. And then similarly for the uh, lab sample collection on 10th Feb. So there are only two records which meet the condition of trans DT less than or is equal to ADT. So we have those two records kept in the output data set. So now we have all the transmissions occurring on or before this particular date but as per the requirement what we were supposed to do is we were supposed to pick the latest so what we are doing here in this order by statement is sorting the records based on subject id param cd adt seek and trans dt so in ascending manner so when we sort the dates in ascending manner so the latest record comes at the end so in the next step what we are doing here is filtering the last record for each lab sequence record so when we say if last dot seek so here if we take a look at this one so there are two records there are two transfusions which are happening before on or before second Feb transfusion so we have two records available one on 15th and sec one on second Feb. so we have ensured that the latest record is coming here at the bottom and then we are employing that last dot sequence to filter off this record so let us take a look at our adlb03 and then see if it is coming properly so we have identified that the latest transfusion on or before first feb 2010 was 15th jan so it is coming correctly on second feb on or before that was the latest transfusion and the latest transfusion on or before 10th feb was also second feb so we have got that and for 1002, so there was no transmission. So we have the latest transmission coming as missing. And for 1003, the ADT is 15th May. So let us go back and then see the transmissions available. So there was only one transmission available for 1003, and that was on 5th March. So the latest date before 15th May 2010 was 5th March. So we have got the transmission, latest transmission date of 5th March into our ADLB. So this is how you can 
get the latest transmission date on or before each lab collection date thank you for watching keep learning